All right, Paul. For part two of this segment, won't you, uh, won't you tell me what the Arab and Israeli uh, conflict today has to do with the seat of Abraham? All right. Well, first of all, the significance about this seed uh, of Abraham was that uh, God promised Abraham. He said, Abraham, out of your seed, I promise to let you inherit the land of Israel. Now, at first, his wife, his wife was not able to conceive. So he has impregnated his handmaiden, Hagar, which he prayed, and, and uh, he impregnated her, and they had the firstborn was named Ishmael, out of his handmaiden, Hagar. Ishmael was his name, and that's where the Arab's ancestry comes out of Ishmael. Now, later on, his wife was able to, to conceive. She got pregnant, and they named him Isaac. Now, it's the Jews bloodline through his wife okay so it was Abraham had Isaac through his wife and then Isaac had a son named Jacob and Jacob had uh, 12 sons and that's where your house of Israel comes up the 12 tribes of Israel now the significance about that they've always been warned over that land ever since the, them days because Ishmael out of Ishmael the Arabs believe that that land should be theirs. And right now, it's coming down to the close to where an Arab-Israeli conflict, a seven-year peace pact will be made with uh, a covenant with many by this angry king. And it'll seem like a man of peace. He'll try to slow down or stop all nuclear stuff all the nuclear uh, weaponry and be a man of peace. Sort of like uh, anyway, sort sort of like what Obama's doing, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And they'll make a seven year peace pact with Israel. And then uh, now there'll be peace and safety, they'll say the first half of that. Peace and security. All in one voice. They'll be saying in one voice peace and safety, and then sudden destruction comes upon them like woman in travail. In the middle half of the seven years, all hell will get ready to break loose because that Antichrist, the evil one, will reveal himself in that temple because they're going to start a temple there in Israel. As soon as the seven-year peace pact is made and the covenant made with Israel and Palestine, the Arabs have, yeah, out of Ishmael, they'll have their dome of rock to worship there. Palestinians worshiping there. The Dome Rock, that big golden cap looking building here in Jerusalem. Right beside it, they'll build a temple where Solomon's temple used to be. They'll, there'll be a temple built and they'll start animal sacrifice up again. And in the midst of the week or the midst of the seven years, as spoken in Daniel 9 26, Matthew 9, or Matthew 24, where Jesus says, When you see the horrible things set up as spoken in the book of Daniel, he's referring to this uh, Antichrist and then the temple in the middle half of that seven years and the dead in Christ that man has to be revealed first before the rapture comes but uh, that man of sin will be revealed and then there will be the dead in Christ will rise I believe that's where uh, God I believe that's where Satan falls Jesus said, I saw Satan fall as lightning. And he falls to the ground. I believe that's when the first resurrection people goes up. And that's where the Antichrist will realize he has little time then. And that's where his, the Spirit of the Lord will come, go out of the way. And then he'll get to have his new world order. And one day, in one hour, they'll sign their powers into the beast. I believe that same kingdom was the same kingdom as Jesus that the devil showed to Jesus. He says, uh, if you'll bow down and worship me, I'll give you all these kingdoms. Because he knew one day that they was looking through the portals of time. Looking through the portals of time, they said, I'll give you these kingdoms if you'll bow down and worship me. But Jesus, knowing his mission in life, was to get hold of the cross. And therefore, that right there is the cross, I think the middle half is seven years, I believe that's where the crossing comes. So that right there is the 
significance of the Arabs and in Israel, the Jews, out of Ishmael, the Arabs, out of Isaac, the Jews, and this, but the promise of the seed. Remember, Abraham, out of your seed, I promise they let you inherit the land of Israel. So, if you ever listen to this, rewind it, listen back and forth, back and forth, take notes, analyze it. And look at current events and keep your eyes on Israel and Palestine. These are very crucial times to look in Bible prophecy. So, I hope it has helped whoever. Somehow, this is 20, 20 or 21 years, around 20 years of, uh, of looking into Bible prophecy. Now, a lot of people believe that, that if any, in any generation, this is the most possible generation of, of the end. Uh, for simple fact, yeah, for one instance, like, uh, what, was it May the 14th, of 1948, Israel became a nation? Yeah. And, uh, he said in the end times, he'll bring them back, he'll, you know, the shepherd will be smitten, the sheep will be scattered, in the end times, they'll bring them back to their own country, which Israel will become, a, become their own nation, what, in, in May 14th, 1948, and what, by every generation is what, around 70 years? Nobody knows the date, so we we try not to get into the date set. No one, no one knows the day or the hour, but it does. You know, it gives you very close to the time period that's happening. Yeah, yeah. but it's if you think about it, well. if you think about it, yeah, it would. Uh, you would think within that generation, so. Yeah. 